Hey guys, Dr. Prometheus here back with some more of our Cup franchise. We're at AAA right now in the playoffs because we lost game 163. And so we will not be in a game 164 for the playoffs. And we're going to go in with Sean Liriano. We're going to try to win this one. Can be difficult. Let's do it. Here he is, Sean Liriano, age 21. Should break up in the rotation or at least the bullpen next season. And he probably will at 21 years old. I'm more inclined with playing players that are a bit higher in age. Even if they're just a couple points under someone younger. I want to say at this level there's three series it's this one and then one more than the championship I think nope. it could be wrong with that there could be two Good base hit there. Batting second. The set. That's right to second. Not much to it there. Got him. Ooh. We haven't pitched with Liriano in a while, so. Got him. Batting six, the catcher, John Hicks. Ed Howard.
Let's go. We'll take it. Ooh. Ooh. Can we get a double out of this? We're gonna sure try it. Wait, why is Brennan David? Oh, because he was up at the majors and when we called him up and it went down to 28, so we got sent back down. Okay. Okay. Good move. Now Second. All right. Now yep. Okay, a good double there. Nice. Now that third base grand is The catcher, Chadwick, Trump.
啊。哦。Now bad. That is likely gone. There it is. Let's go, baby. Let's write the second. Ah, that's a routine. Okay. Ah. Uh. Come on, ah, uh, give up another one. Give up another one. I probably should have went to the bullpen. Ah, uh, routine. Ah, uh, it's going to be caught. If we're going to give this up now that second base and the burn ah uh. Okay.
<sighs> That's caught. Got him. Nice and easy. All right, let's do it. Ooh, that's a good inside pitch. Good pitch. Nice. Thought that was going to hit the ground. That's so nice. Get there. And he's there. This is a great ball to throw there. Another out. Okay. A run will win the game. Good change up. Good slider. Let's go up and in. Just blew it right by me. Ooh, it's gonna be a single. Can't get the run in. All right, boys, let's get something here. That's routine. Routine ball. Hey. 
Pass and pop to it, but that's easily playable. Damn. Okay. We're about to be eliminated. Just not. It's not a great, great time. It's not great. One more try. As to the off season. And there it is. That should have been a good hit. So the Iowa Cubs are eliminated as well. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go through the stats here in this episode. We'll reload the miners. We're going to look at the miners first. I'm going to kind of give my thoughts on that and we'll go from there. All right, so we're going to start at double A here. And we're going to look at it by home runs to start with so Alfonso Rivas playing at double a at 26 years old uh, 17 home runs Reginald uh, Presadio I mean one of our draft picks playing shortstop in year one I mean he may grow into something but it's gonna be a while with Horner being young, I don't know if he'll actually come up. Kevin Alcantara uh, getting better. I think he comes up to AAA next season. Alexander Canario, I think he is going to be at AAA or uh, AA, I mean. Joel Castilla, I mean, uh, AA guy. Christopher Morell. Another guy that's probably going to be at double A, only batted 234. Alexander Canario is going to be at uh, double A. Uh, Narcissio Crook will be down here. Owen uh, uh, Cassie, he's going to take some time. I think he's going to be down here as well, staying. Yo, know, Hendrick Hanango. Another guy we drafted, not really big. Amaya is probably going to be staying down here. Kevin Maid. Another guy that's going to be staying down here. So pretty much the only guy that's looking probably for a call up is Alcantara. Kevin Alcantara. More than anything. So, I mean, that's the only guy that's likely to do it. 
Look at pictures. Anderson Espinoza. I think he goes up to AAA. I think it's about time. Yeah, I think that's about time. Uh, Mark Leiter, nothing crazy. Ryan Jansen, the big guy that stays on a double A. Marlon, double A. Kevin Bond stays down at double A. Dakota Meeks. Zeke, that's a pretty good, pretty good uh, pitching bit. He probably stay, uh, he probably comes up to triple A depending. As for triple A, I mean, Liriano's a C. I think we call up Caleb Killian. Seems like he is ready for it. Art Cervantes will, he's 18, he'll spend another year probably at triple A. Steven Brault, not worried about him. Marquez is going to spend another year down here at least. Spanos is going to be down here for a couple of years. I think it's going to take some time. As for the position players. Okay. Huff is going to stay down here another year and then he'll probably be up at the majors. Tucker will stay down here. Beachman probably is always oh, got one more year. Ball. That is interesting skill set. It's probably going to take him a bit and he is going to stay down at AAA next year. Cole's probably going to stay down there. So will uh, Nelson Velasquez. Dixon. Oh, no, Dixon Machado isn't all that great. Pete Crow Armstrong's going to take a while. That damaged knee cartilage didn't help. I mean, the only one that's likely gonna come up is who we have up at the majors now. I mean, it's not insane by any means. It's gonna be difficult to really make a choice, especially if we see someone out there. So let's see the awards. Kuzama, Okamoto, and Seiya Suzuki both get gold gloves. And the NL Rookie of the Year is Kazama or Kazuma Okamoto. Let's go, baby. Okay, MVP Vlad Walker Bueller takes the MVP in the National League. Goes 25 and 4 with a 1.92 ERA. Jeez. Cy Young, of course, goes to him. And Shohei Otani gets it in the AL. Oh, that's intriguing. Will they be able to actually sign him? If we see him out there, we gotta we gotta pull the trigger. Bogers gets the batting title in the AL and Bryce Harper gets it in the NL. Reliever of the year, Blake Trinian gets it. Edwin Diaz is third. American League goes to Andrew uh, Cutridge, or Kitridge. Rookie of the year, Yoriel Gonzalez in the AL and obviously Kazuma Akamoto in the NL.
Hank Aaron Award, Bryce Harper gets it in the NL. Vlad gets it in the AL. Now going through the gold gloves. Pitcher, Jose Quiddy and Carlos Rendon. Catcher, Rio Muto with Contreras at number two. And then uh, Mitch Garver in the AL. First, Ryan Montcastle gets it in Matt Olson. Ozzy Albies gets it at second. And Gene Segura gets it in the AL. At third, DJ LeMahieu and Kazuma Akamoto. At short, Dansby Swanson and Wander Franco. At left, Austin Hayes and Joey Gallo. Abdul Herrera at center with Enrique Hernandez. And then right, Mitch Hanagar with Seiya Suzuki. So going to the Silver Slugger, there's no Silver Slugger for pitchers because it's not fixing the game yet. Because they, this is the first time they actually implemented DH, so it's not in the NL for the uh, for this whole thing. A lot of the rules weren't able to be imported in this version because of the lockout, so we'll just have to roll with it. Framel Reyes gets it uh, in the AL. Going through against the Silver Sluggers, a catcher, Salvador Perez and JT Riomuto. Matt Olson at first with Vladimir Guerrero. At second, Marcus Simeon and Ozzy Albides. At third, Austin Riley with Rafael Devers. Short, Xander Bogertz and Dansby Swanson. Out in the outfield in the NL, you have Ronald Acuna, Juan Soto, and Brian Reynolds. The runners up for those positions is Seiya Suzuki and Ian Happ. So those three were better than the Suzuki and Happ. In the AL, it's Eloy Jimenez, Mitch Hanagar, and Austin Meadows. And the runners up that we're waiting at four and five are Aaron Judge and Jordan Alvarez. So that will be all the awards here. Nothing crazy other than that. The playoffs right now, LA beats Toronto to go in the ALDS against the Angels. Or no, that is the Angels that won that. So they're going to go up against the Houston Astros. On the other side, it's Tampa Bay against Cleveland. In the NL, Philly beats Atlanta to advance to play the Dodgers, and Milwaukee and the Mets play each other. So let's keep on simming. Let's look at... Look at Milwaukee. At least the division team. And they do advance. So Milwaukee beats the Mets in five. And then the Dodgers sweep the Phillies 3-0. On the AL side, Cleveland sweeps Tampa Bay 3-0. Zero and then Houston beats the Angels three to one in that series. So it'll end up being Cleveland against Houston and Milwaukee against the LA Dodgers. We're going to keep on following the Brewers here. And they are eliminated from contention. It is Houston against the Do uh, the LA Dodgers it's the Dodgers it's the Houston there's LA so the first game is going to be Walker Bueller against Lance McCullers and that is a 8-0 win for the Dodgers Julio Urias against Luis Garcia and that is a win for Luis Garcia 14-8 the Astros take that. Kershaw against Jose Aquiti. And that it goes to the bullpen. Jose Aquiti loses that one, and Tony uh, Gonzalez gets the win. Walker Bueller against Lance McCullers. Is Walker Bueller with that win? One more game. 
and there it is the dodgers have defeated the houston astros to win the 2023 world series let's look at the awards here before we look at everything world series mvp is mookie betts Postseason MVP on the AL side is Jose Altuve. And on the NL side, it is Chris Taylor. Well, let's look at our statistics. So look at this. I felt like Stroman did pretty. Let's look at this through the lens of lineups and rotations. So Hendricks comes in 201 innings, 4.25 ERA, probably his worst ERA in his career. Yep. Does have 21 quality starts though. I think that's second in his uh, in his career. Still war, but with 2.2 but just didn't get it going maybe because of the the hitting and we'll see exactly what happens to him going forward marcus stroman comes in 12 and 10 he's still got another year on his deal 3.71 era 20 quality starts war still at a 3.1 Corey kluber comes in and absolutely dominates anything that he sees 20 and 10, 215 innings pitched, 2.89 ERA, which is tied for 2018. Not as good as 2017. He had a better year in 2014. I mean, one of his best years in his career with 24 quality starts. The second, or actually the third highest he's ever had. Like that is insane. His war is around a 3.8. Yeah. Chris Paddock. I mean, do we sign him for another year? There's questions there. He goes 11 to 9, 182 innings pitch, 3.51 ERA, 2.6 war. Albert Asley goes 15 and 10. Pretty good spread there, 3.10 ERA. 180 innings pitched a whip uh, just about a one at a 1.08 15 quality starts his war is a 3.2 i thought that was pretty good caleb killian didn't play at the majors justin Steele though did and he had eight wins four losses four saves out of the bullpen 145 innings pitched 4.59 era didn't have any starts war around a one I think I think he ends up being in the rotation next year. I mean, obviously Cody, Cody here. There's no doubt about that one. Jordan Holloway comes into 30 games, two and two record, three holds, 36 innings pitched with 3.72 ERA. He still has another year. Eric Yardley comes in. He's on arbitration for a couple of years. Comes in and plays pretty well, pretty well, actually. 32 starts, 33 innings, one loss, one blown save, which is probably what that loss is. Five holds, 2.16 ERA. Okay. Seth Lugo, who we signed for a one-year deal, three saves, four blown saves. Probably because of me. 30 holds, 4.05 ERA. We'll probably go a different direction there. Chris Martin, same thing. Going to go be a free agent. We're going to go a different direction there regardless of what he did. Edwin Diaz, $12 million a year for the next two years after this year. Went one and three. Had three blown saves. So it was just those three games that he blew. They lost 46 saves. So about a little bit over his average. Uh, not his average, but a little bit more than he had last year. One hold, 53 innings, 2.19 ERA under a one whip. I mean, that's how we're going to go with that. That that seems pretty good. 
with that. So lineups, Nick Mandrigal had 285 home runs, 36 RBIs, batting leadoff. I mean, his on-base percentage was 319, so his worst of his career coming off injury, however, um, last year. And I thought he played probably better last year, but I think he still played pretty well. Here's Nico Horner, 25 years old, at a 91 overall, about a 265. So not as good as those 44 games in 2001, but another long 145 game season. He does have nine home runs, 52 RBIs, nothing crazy. On base percentage is a 337. I committed six errors. Seiya Suzuki. Obviously nothing to write home about there because we're, he's not going anywhere. Now Tommy Pham's on a two year deal. At 252 this season with 22 home runs and 75 RBIs. He's batting in that DH role. And if he's batting a DH role, I'm not worried about that. We might end up sending him out though on a deal. In Hap, we got him locked up long term for about a $7.7 .7 million contract, which is insane. At 263 this season. Almost a career high. His career high in 2019 was a 264 in 58 games. But this was in 150 games. That's 263, 97 RBIs, 25 home runs. He's, he's, I love Ian Hap. Um, Kazuma akamoto so 138 games i think he was injured in those or he moved around that's 235 24 home runs 75 rbis on base percentage 302 nothing crazy but a solid player wilson Contreras is 30 years old he's locked up until he's about 26 or so at 245 this season not fantastic but not bad he's okay he's he's okay wisdom 31 years old 220 70 bats no triples 19 home runs 65 rbis i mean it's a toss-up And who matters over here? Torinos, 69 games. At 264, seven home runs, 26 RBIs, 17 walks. Did have 64 strikeouts, so geez. Bodie, 77 games. With 252 with 10 home runs, 26 RBIs. We're probably going to get Bodie up and uh, play a little bit more next season. So that will be that. So in the next episode, we will go through the off season. We'll kind of go through, see what happens and continue on into spring training. So thank y'all for joining me. Go ahead and leave a like below, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Later.